Hello guys, welcome back. This is your boy Gia Adam Slink. Welcome to another video. Please try as much as possible as usual. Support your boy. Like this video, comment, share it on watch video platform. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam Slink. And be sure you subscribe and click that bell notification to get updates anytime any day I upload. Well, to start this video, our president Mohamed Dubari is not currently in town. He traveled to Paris, France. But the problem is just as he was taking off, in fact, I think he might be in Paris now, the Paris government suspended the same thing that is taking our president to Paris. According to the news, Africa, France, submit postponed due to C-90 travel restriction. And meanwhile, the same mail, this was tweeted by Thierry 27 p.m. May 16 2021 then at 16 pm uh at 16 16 may 2021 our president president muhammad Dubari depart abuja on sunday may 16 2021 for paris france ahead of the financing africa summit so which kind of embarrassment be this is it that the France government don't take us seriously by sending us notice, like a day or two days notice telling us that, okay, there's a C-19 restriction, so we have to postpone this thing? Or they actually sent it, but our president didn't get it and is still embarked on this journey? Or maybe he was specially invited by France president so that they can have a discussion before the thing. Actually, I don't know. I, I do not know. Because this thing that is cancelled and our president is going. And I didn't know. I, that, and I believe that they cannot just cancel it at the same day. It would take like maybe two days or three days or seven days notice. Telling that, okay, this has been suspended. Well, unfortunately, that is what we are saying. And meanwhile, check out uh, Uganda singer Vika. So a guy was trying to touch her inappropriately. And uh, the girl, of course, you can see the video, lost her cool. And we don't know why was kicking, was throwing kicks, but we do not know if he actually got to the guy. But obviously that guy, if if I was there, if I'm Vika, the this Uganda singer, I would just hold that the dancer to bring him to a very separate bag. Me then deal with the guy. Abba. He didn't even touch her on her legs. He was touching her, you know, a punani. Straight and straight to a punani. Crazy. And uh, meanwhile, uh, check out this news. This one, this one shocked me. He shocked me and it's coming from Baba Jesha's lawyer. He said, my client is traumatized in detention. That is coming from Baba Jesha lawyer who wrote the police so what about the uh the 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 14 years old girl is she not traumatized is she not ashamed is she not sick so you are talking about a papa Jesha traumatized that is the whole idea of him being in prison any prisoner today who committed horrible offense the whole idea of a prison it's for you to go there and be traumatized for the rest of your life. There's no way we, in Nigeria. We do not create prisons for people just to go and flex and live happy life. The whole idea of a prison is for the prisoner to be traumatized. So him being traumatized is healthy for the public, including myself. I'm happy. You can see the way I'm smiling, right? Because he is being traumatized. I see other countries, you see they have this very beautiful prison and be like, uh-uh, what is the idea of prison? You are bringing people from the street and taking them to a luxury prison. Well, guys, uh, should I read what the lawyer wrote? He said, in the letter addressed to the legal state commissioner, uh, Mr. Agulada, Agulana said his client should be released on bail, heading by Jesha colleague Yomi. Fabe is ready to stand shorty for him. 
your mufa bay is ready to start shorty for him. <laughs> Baba Ijesha has been in police custody since his arrest in April for alleged defying the 14 years old foster child of popular comedian Princess. They say we are aware that a piece of legal advice on our client matter has been issued about two weeks ago disclosing prospective charge of billable characters. For her indication, the investigation has been concluded in this in this matter and it is inconvincible that the issuer of the legal advice will now be a base basis for, for the denial of bail as you have been widely reported in the press to have claimed. We submitted that the continuous detection of Mr. Uh, Babai Jasha at, uh, at, at your SCID Yaba facility for about 30 days now is a respectful view is a gross breach of this fundamental human right at well they said it's been traumatized as of today when I met with uh, Ijesha in the company of his uh, colleagues and ready shorty Mr. Yomi Fabei he appeared traumatized and walked with a limp in his right leg may I assure you sir Mr. Well, the sense he is traumatized and uh, is walking with a limp like he cannot walk uh, fluently, like straight. So I don't know. So should, should I pity him now because he's traumatized? Should I pity him? Should we, Nigeria, pity him and start agitating for him to be released? Can you kindly leave your comment below? And this one is coming from Stella Damakos, one of uh, another world legend. Well, uh, she said at the age of 10, she also passed through exactly what Papa Jesha did to that girl. So, uh, listen to her, guys. It has happened to me. It wasn't rape, rape, but it was molestation by someone who was supposed to be related to me. I was eight. I couldn't talk about it for years because it traumatized me. Nobody knew I was dealing with it myself. Why couldn't I talk? I knew what happened to others who had spoken up about it. They were disgraced. If you see the shame, even in school, was the word got out. It was about her being a prostitute. As little, as young as we were, they will call you names. Ah, so man has seen you, man has touched you. It's not about what you're going through. At the end of the day, you spend years dealing with your trauma. I were not, it's painful. It took me, I was about 30 something, Buki, before I sat down with someone in the UK and the guy spoke to me for three days at his church. I went for an event. I didn't plan to see a therapist, but he was. And I sat with him and I spoke to him. That was the first time that I dealt with it. That was when I knew that I didn't heal all these years. I thought I did. I didn't. And that was so freeing for me. I couldn't believe it. And I'm like, Imagine what so many young girls are going through and how we as a society just leave them open and, and start demanding for crazy stuff. We do not realize that the first thing to do is protect them because the heart of man is constantly wicked. Mm. They're not the right hand for faith. Whether neighbor, whether uncle, they're not the right hand for faith. Protect your children. Believe them when they say something happened. Happened. Yes, yeah, so they're not the right hand for faith. So whether uncle, auntie, my no the other right hand for face protect your children at all cost and also you know most of us had uh, this misreaction concerning that guy who was arrested who raped and killed a, a student a graduate a graduate who was living uh who came for a job not knowing that it was like a fake job and the guy was trying to get his way with her at the end of the day he end up uh, ending a life. Well, we had a misreaction uh, the other day after he was interviewed by journalists. And of course, the way he was looking, he was looking fresher. He hates, it seems like police people are feeding him well. And uh, he hasn't been touched. That means he hasn't been beaten. So I don't know why he hasn't been beaten. And uh, he's still working majestically. Well, this is what... Uh, Rise, he said, he said, I divest for all this journalist man's stupid line of questioning. I mean, the guy just bothered someone and is even looking it 
and it's literally looking it not the first time it is doing this. It doesn't even look or sound remorseful, look confident, obviously believe it will be left off the hook soon. You kill that and you bury her, kiss no day now, I pray justice is servo because this Nigerian, now poor man Pekin, when they catch be criminal, see as a fresh. You go no say they never even beat up at all. If now one small boy wait if just mangi police go beat her life, say he kill person. This Nigerian here, the rape case, killing of our sisters, daughter, women is becoming too much. Our women are not safe at all. The law must protect our women with the gender based crime should be cropped ha ah, waiting that was a writer said and i think uh, is, is, he actually spoke a lot of our minds like come on the guy hasn't been touched he still looks so fresh and is talking confidently like nothing they happen when they touch this guy small touch him small make his body settle down uh, and meanwhile, this is coming from Yemiol or uh, Halliday. She's currently not happy with the federal government, and obviously, we are not happy as well. The dollar rate. She talked about the dollar rate, and she said CBN really needs to consider the ordinary man in Nigeria. All the new restriction on USD deposit is affecting a lot of business. You don't have enough USD to even give legitimate business people for their import or imports. Why do you find? another solution why don't why not find another solution poor man is getting poorer go to your local grocery stores when whether na abuki shop or supermarket and see that they cannot restock a lot of product once they run out we don't produce any of this finished product even toothpaste you focus your focus is money laundry but you her in turn worsen our economy, dear CBN. Can you please create a balance for us, CBN? Why you have focus on truncating cash dollar deposit? The cyclic nature of money from the rich to the poor is making this country unbearable to live. So much bureaucracy in action and no one conscious consciously trying to apply it to our reality how long will your restriction on usd go on for cb here do better it's bad enough that you charge 50 naira per per naira transaction and almost 30k monthly for account maintenance well cbn that that's it Nigeria cbn eh he just made it, they just created that cbn to make life difficult for nigeria that is me. Yes, it's coming from me wholeheartedly. And if anybody contacts me, I will defend myself. Uh, yeah, I said it. You ban cryptocurrency. Hey, <laughs> man. So, Kai, you said that cryptocurrency was weakening dollar. Uh, was weakening naira. And immediately you ban cryptocurrency, dollar rate skyrocket. Crazy. Well, I actually believe what uh, Yemia Aladi said, and I think they actually really need to look into it. And uh, this is what someone asked uh, Femi, uh, Femi or T dollar. Well, <laughs> this one is funny. <laughs> well, uh, someone asked him as Femi T dollar wrote, says, Sunday in London just started my six week summer vacation then someone asked him always on vacation sir do you even go to work come on man rich men do not go to work and he said as an entrepreneur my role is to ensure that i hire a competent team to run my business affair without my physical presence and of course one that at least me my is to nature the team to maximize shareholder values. You hear uh, you hear the description, the way he just simply quoted it. That is why when you are a young man, like let us say when Femi was 30, 35, 40, ask him if he goes to vacation, we tell you no. He's always working. Now he's old. 
His focus now is on nature. Go out there and relax while you employ professors. Whoever have this financial analysis brain to maintain your business. Huh? That is why, man, when you are young, you need to also, so that you can still be chilling. And chilling, and somebody will ask you, you just they spend money. You know they go work. You just they spend money, but yet you don't go to work. Well, I want to be asked this kind of question when I'm like 50, 60. It's a really good question, though. It's a really good question. And uh, check out this uh, Twitter vote. You know, Yahya Bilo, Kogi State Governor, recently came out to say a lot of Nigerians are calling on him to to uh, to be the, the next to be a Nigeria president, and uh, he said he's going to heed to that call. Well, they did this Twitter vote, and ninety something percent said they're not going to vote for Yahya Bilo. But uh, if you understand Nigeria politics, you will know that Twitter has done vote when it comes to real vote. Twitter vote is way different from real vote. So, and then when the cabal say, yeah, we want him, <laughs> I don't think you can say no. And this also is coming from DJ Copy. And uh, somebody wrote, said, Copy's dog don't get follower past me on Instagram and Twitter combined. The Copy said, that must be why people are sending my dogs their account details. So Copy uh, opened Instagram account for her dogs. And people are sending a dogs their account details. It's crazy. It's painful. Somebody, you just go online. The only thing you want to do eh, is to send person your account details. I hate that in the verse me. So we will say, oh, hello, Adams, the next thing, account details. Did I tell you to send me account details? Have we discussed before? Do we know each other? Yes, you listen to me. Yeah. But have we discussed before? You just send person your account details. People, people are fond of doing that. Is it that? Is it that you people that are doing those people that are doing it? Is it that they actually get some kind of luck and they get money? I want to know. Please, if anybody, if, if you are doing it and you are watching me, please let me know. Enlighten me. And uh, check out this video of a Hollywood actress Sharon who recently bought a very fancy Jeep, a new car. And the question that I want to ask is that, why are Nollywood actress cashing out? And meanwhile, our Nollywood actors are hustling. Why are Nollywood actress cashing out? And meanwhile, our Nollywood actors are hustling. I want to understand the difference. Please, can somebody enlighten me? And I want to know, I'm not saying you are doing anything wrong. Oh. But I would like you to enlighten me. And to end this video, this one is coming from Pastor Tunde Bakari. You know, he was supposed to run with uh, Muhammad the President, uh, Muhammad Buhari, years ago. They ran together as the, he ran with Muhammad uh, Buhari as the Vice President, but they didn't win the election before uh, Buhari and Yemi. And uh, uh, Yemi will. Yemi or Simbajo. Well, he preached some time ago and he stated this reason why he decided to step back. Listen to him, guys. So, what's your position on the restructuring of Nigeria? And he said, Well, there are too many voices. We don't know what they are saying. I said, Who are the day? On the first month of your administration, I brought you a compendium of what I call the legacy of Muhammad Buhari containing the restructuring of Nigeria along through federal system that we agreed upon when I chose to run with you in 2011. I brought it a second time to you. Who are the dead? So if you don't understand what restructuring is, just look back and see the Grand North Pyramids in the north. That was what financed Amadou Bello University and all the great things that Amadou Bello did in his days. If you don't understand restructuring, consider the golden era of the region and look at what Coco did. Free education, first television, first, first stadium, and all the high rise and everything that Awo did came from Coco from the West. If you don't understand restructuring, Look back in the east and see what they did with palm oil and with coal from Udi Hills 
including the University of Nigeria, Onsuka, and anyone who does not understand restructuring, go back to the 1963 Republican Constitution and understand the evolution of power. And if you don't understand, take the document in your hand that Nasir Arufai committee put together and the 12 things that they stated. If you don't do it first, you have yourself to blame. There's going to be restructuring in this land. There'll be fairness, there'll be equity, there'll be justice, there'll be security, 